So is it safe to get on a cruise ship right now? That is like the million dollar question. Should I go? Should I cancel? What should I do? Stick around to the very end and I'll explain to you also why the cruise industry is getting so much attention right now. They're taking very strong steps in terms of uh, people going on and going off. Uh, but they're spending a lot of money and they are working very hard and we're, wor we're going to be helping that industry. Hey everybody, welcome to Cruising with Charles. This channel is all about cruising. The good, the bad, the ugly, the fun, the exotic places. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you get updates when I put another video out. Now, me personally, I'm really looking forward to the end of this whole coronavirus. Cruising, I have a blast at, and there just seems to be a lot of negativity around the entire cruise industry right now. And there's a lot of questions going on. Should I go on my cruise? Should I cancel? Now, I'll let you know, me personally, I have a cruise coming up, 16 days. I'm going to be on it. I've been places that have level four travel advisories. I've been there for work. So this doesn't scare me as much as it does other people. I also don't have underlying medical issues that put me at a higher risk. And another thing is, is the whole 14 day quarantine. I'm have a job and in a position that if I get stuck for 14 days, it won't have a major impact on my life. Be an inconvenience, but it won't have a major impact. That's why I'm choosing to continue. But should you continue? If you have a cruise book, what should you do? Well, first let's look at what all they're saying. We're getting a lot of conflicting reports out of Washington, with the CDC, with the State Department, with the Director for Infectious Diseases. On one side, they're telling you if you're young and you don't have health issues, go on a cruise. There's nothing, no reason not to. But on the other hand, they're saying that they're advising, and of course it's just an advisory, that U.S. citizen that U.S. citizens, especially the elderly or those with underlying medical conditions, should not cruise. So there's a lot of back and forth both sides. And it really makes it hard to answer, is it safe to cruise right now? Well, really, here's one thing I look at. The cruise industry is getting a lot of attention, and I'm going to explain to you why at the end of the video. But they're also taking a lot of new precautions. They're taking your temperature. They're verifying who, where you've been traveling before you get on the ship. They're doing everything they can. They're not an entire fleet of medical staff. They're waiters and housekeepers and entertainers. And they're being hit with something horrible. And they're doing the best they can. And the decisions they end up making are based off of the CDC and federal and state agencies. They're just doing what they're told once they have an issue. But they're taking your temperatures. Now, what about the airports? I've heard nothing about airports taking temperatures or your grocery stores, your home centers. None of them are taking your temperatures and there's a lot of people and a lot of crowds. Las Vegas. Las Vegas has its first confirmed case in Clark County. Are they taking people's temperatures on the Las Vegas Strip? No. In the casinos? No. So there's a lot of 
really questionable things going on out there. And it makes it hard to decide, should you go, should you stay? This all boils down to a personal choice. Can you afford to be quarantined for 14 plus days? Can you afford to reschedule your trip? If you don't have one booked and it's nothing you want to risk, then wait till this passes. These always seem to pass. SARS passed, MERS passed, Ebola passed. They come, they go. You know, I've read comments and other posts that this is going to be the end of the cruise industry. Three ships, three strikes and you're out. Well, not quite. If it was a three strike and you're out deal, nobody would be traveling by plane or car anymore. Are they being hit hard? Yes. Is it going to affect them long term? They will recover. They've recovered in the past. People are talking about stocks dropping. Oh, they were going from $60 a share down to $20 a share. They're never going to recover. They'll recover. If you go back and historically look at carnival stocks over a 10 year period, during every major incident, Every type of flu that broke out, the, when the Ebola broke out, stocks fell, stocks came back. So yes, the cruise industry will recover. Now, why is the cruise industry getting so much attention? Well, unlike air travel, unlike malls, casinos, big venues, when there's any type of outbreak, whether it be the norovirus, whether it be Ebola, anything, anytime several people get sick on a cruise ship, they are mandated to report to the CDC. That is why it hits the media. That is why it's everywhere. This cruise ship, that cruise ship. But look again, three cruise ships for sure right now have had issues with coronavirus patients on board. I feel horrible for those that were stuck on board. I feel horrible for those that ended up in quarantine, but there's a lot of people ending up in quarantine. But the issue is, is look at how many ships are going out every day. Look at how many people are still traveling on cruise ships. Again, it's your decision. I make my decision. We're going on our cruise. We have the Cruise for Heroes on the Celebrity Millennium on March 27th. And two weeks, two and a half weeks behind that, we'll be on the Carnival Glory out of New Orleans. And I'll be filming so you'll know what's going on. Um, I actually have friends and family on cruises right now. I have a friend who just got on a Norwegian cruise line out of New York City. And my parents are actually on a Holland America cruise in South America right now. 31 days from Argentina all the way to Fort Lauderdale. So I'll hear what's going on on that ship too. All right. Make sure you hit that like. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification so when I put out another video, you'll know it's out and what's going on, whether it's good or bad. Hopefully we're gonna start making some really good videos, some fun videos, especially since I've got this cruise coming up down to Ensenada, excited about that. If you haven't seen that, click the link above, check out the cruise for hero, cruising for heroes or cruise for heroes from Celebrity. Really neat program they're putting together in the wake of all this horrible mess with the coronavirus. All right, till next time, if you got a cruise planned and booked, go enjoy it. If you cancel it, let us know in the comments. In fact, let us know in the comments if you are going to book a cruise, have a cruise booked, are going to cancel. Let us know what your thoughts are. It's not the end of the cruise industry, but let us know your thoughts. All right, until next time, I am out of here. About to leave, already
already packing Come with me, I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see 